hello students uh, the topic i am going to discuss is uh, based on uh, pneumatic and uh, electrical uh, transmission so the outcomes of uh, the topic uh, can be taken as like this after completion of this topic the student uh, will be able to mention the ranges of process variables in terms of transmission ranges that is in terms of uh, pressure or uh, voltage or current then the student will be able to mention the importance of telemetry of process variables why because whenever we are going for a remote measurement so we must be in a position to tell the importance of telemetry so after this uh, the student will be able to mention the importance of telemetry of process variables the third outcome we can take the student will be able to write on the process of transmission through pneumatic way or electric way so we know that uh, most of the process variables will be transmitted uh, either in the pneumatic pressure in the range of 3 to 15 psi or electrical transmission through 0 to 5 volts of voltage or 4 to 20 milliamps of current so the outcome can be taken as the outcome, the student will be able to write on the process of transmission through pneumatic way or electrical way the next outcome we can have is the student will be able to draw the schematic of pneumatic transmission so as part of uh, one mark question we need to have uh, uh, schematics of uh, drawings of pneumatic transmission so after completion of this topic uh, the student will be able to draw the schematic of pneumatic transmission similarly the student will be able to draw the schematic of electric transmission so students uh, this is uh, the schematic of pneumatic transmission this we can take it as a block diagram so this is a transmitter where the signal can be transmitted so preferably we are measuring the process variables so our objective is to transmit the process variable so it is a pneumatic transmission means the process variable must be transferred tra transmitted in the range of pressure so what we need to is any measurement sh shall be done in terms of pressure variable so that means what we have to use let us take an example of viscosity measurement viscosity to pressure converter that means viscosity is measured in terms of pressure variable or a density measurement we are doing density is, has to be measured in terms of pressure variable and this measured pressure must be proportional to the measurable quantity measured, propo measured pressure propo proportional to measurable viscosity measured pressure proportional to measurable displacement so to give an example i have written here that is maybe the process variable may be a displacement or level or flow or temperature or density or viscosity etc the delta p naught proportional to delta t that means we initially we need to measure the temperature the temperature must be converted to pressure and that delta p p naught proportional to delta t and this pressure uh, process variable convert into pressure will be transmitted and uh, this is referred as a pneumatic telemetry based system so this transmitter can be taken as p naught and uh, to Im improve the things we can have just like an electric electric electronic system amplifier so which will be improving the electronic signal voltage can be enhanced similarly we can have some mechanical amplifying systems where uh, these will be referred as mechanical pilot assembly or we can call it as a amplifying pilot so to boost the signal to boost the pressure signal what you are going to have here so usually um, we can have a feedback mechanism so that the signal is uh, properly amplified there so this z indicates a long range of transmission so in, in instead of drawing a long um, lines usually it will be uh, um, preferred to draw the like this z means it indicates a long transmission pneumatic line there outwards we can have a receiver here so the receiver it is going to receive the signal what we have transmitted from here so the transmitter will be transmitting the process variable measure in terms of pressure the receiver will be receiving the pressure variable here so this pressure variable can be taken as measured output the measured output of process variable delta p naught dash is proportional to delta p naught here to give a clarity of the variables here i have represented with p naught here we can represent with p naught dash so there should be clear proportionality for this one okay so let us take and i am measuring a temperature here i will be writing as delta p naught proportional to delta t here i will write delta p naught dash proportional to delta p naught proportional to delta t here
similarly we can have an electrical transmission system where the electrical range will be if at all we are taking a voltage it will be in terms of 0 to 5 volts if at all it is a current it is in the range of 4 to 20 milliamps so already uh, we have in the class itself we have discussed uh, why we have to take a 0 to 5 volts and why we have to take a 0 to sorry 4 to 20 milliamps of current uh, here um, i will um, reiterate uh, why we are going to take the signal again here so to, this is the schematic of electrical transmission system or electrical telemetry system the same thing here there we have taken measured process parameter in the range of pressure in, the, in case of pneumatic transmission system in case of electrical transmission system we will say that measured process parameter or process variable converted into the range of voltage or current variable here so in case of pneumatic uh, transducers we will say that the measured variable measured process variable can must be com, uh, converted to pressure parameter in case of electrical uh, transmission system we will say that measured process parameter shall be converted to the electrical variable may be voltage or may be current as per the requirement we can have if at all it is a voltage it is called as voltage telemetry system if at all it is a current it is called as a current telemetry system here and most of the application we will come across with electrical transmission system to avoid any sort of problems with pneumatic transmission system we can go for electrical transmission system for effective telemetry of the variable here so this is the transmitter again the, tra the transmitter will be transmitting the measured process parameter in terms of voltage and this voltage is been uh, given to amplifying pilot so to boost the signal we are using a pilot assembly systems in case of mechanical system we will call it as a pneumatic system we will call it as a mechanical amplifying pilot in case of electrical transmission system we will call it as a electrical amplifying pilot or simply we can have a voltage amplifier or current amplifier we can have with a proper feedback mechanism here again these are the transmission cables so through voltage cables uh, so uh, through voltage cables we are going to transmit the voltage variable so preferably the current is being preferred to avoid the cable resistance parameter coming to picture here so due to the cable resistance there is a possibility of losing the voltage uh, levels from transmitter to receiver so that's why preferably the current is being preferred to avoid the loss of the electrical signal here then outward this is the receiver the receiver will be say, uh, um, uh, receiving the signal from transmitter here so you, here you can have a electrical uh, transmission system in this electrical system we can have a voltage transmission system or current transmission system in addition to that we can have a wire transmission system or wireless transmission system so wireless transmission systems can be preferred in most of the applications in the advanced system here so here the based on the requirement the amplifying pilot can be used on either sides of the transmission with proper elimination of noise to the filters so most of the electrical uh, application we come across the electronic noise so to avoid this electronic noise we must have then amplifying pilot should be stable in nature so we can use this amplifying pilot either across the transmitter or either across the re receiver and also we have to ensure that the elimination noise has been properly eliminated through the proper filters okay now keeping in view of stable output requirements and to avoid any sort of losses through transmission common scale ranges are fixed at 3 to 15 psi pneumatic 0 to 5 volts voltage 4 to 20 milliamps or current variable so any process variable irrespective of the variable it may be temperature pressure density or any particular variable that process variable must be converted to either to the pressure in the range of 3 to 15 psi or into the voltage of range 0 to 5 volts or into the current into the range of 420 milliamps and preferable transmission range in most of the industrial applications or ev everywhere you we come across industrial practice it is only 4 to 20 milliamps here so another point to be noted here is that depending on the length of transmission signals are boosted appropriately and feedback mechanism is adopted so signals are boosted using amplifying pilots using feedback mechanism based upon that so based upon the length of transmission of variables whether you are passing your signal for 100 meters of length or 1 kilometer or 2 kilometer or 10 kilometers based upon that appropriate signals are to be boosted continuously and the feedback mechanism has to be adopted for efficient transmission here 
and uh, to uh, have a note point here we can have is minimum current as we are fixing that 420 milliamp is milliamp is a common uh, converted variable so why we need to go for only 420 milliamp is the minimum current required for activation of electronic device is 3 milliamp is so your conversion range must be more than that so that's why it is 4 milliamp is the maximum allowable current passes to the human body is 30 milliamp is so to avoid the damage to the person who is handling the equipment or any um, uh, maintenance equipment so this amount of current should not be passed here so the range of variable should be less than this should be less than this 30 milliampere so that's why the range has been fixed as 4 to 20 milliamps i will repeat once again the minimum current required for activation of electron device is 3 milliamps so that's why the minimum range is fixed at 4 milliamps the maximum allowable current passes through human body is 30 milliamps to avoid damage to the person who is handling the equipment or anything we are fixing the range as 20 milliamps so that is what i have written here keeping in view of above current transmission range is fixed at the rate of 4 to 20 milliamps okay so uh, to brief out once again we can have a two types of systems pneumatic system electrical transmission system again in this voltage transmission system and current transmission system if at all we come across with pneumatic transmission system the range of variable is 3 to 15 psi voltage transmission system 0 to 5 volts current transmission system it is 420 milliamps and preferable range is only 4 to 20 milliamps so ultimately we should convert any pass variable into current and that has to be passed across this the transmission range here and also based on the requirement the amplification must be done and elimination of noise through filters we have to adopt here so once again uh, we shall see what is the outcomes of uh, um, this lecture so now after listening to this uh, video lecture so you must be in a position to mention the range of process variables in terms of transmission range what is pneumatic what is electrical what is current and what is voltage so and again you must be thus as a student you must be able to mention the importance of telemetry of process variables third outcome is as a student you must be able to write on the process of transmission through pneumatic way and electrically so you must be in a position so as a student you must be able to explain what is the process of transmission through pneumatic way or what is the process of transmission through electric wave and next another outcome we can have is as a student you must be able to draw the schematic of pneumatic transmission system as a student you must be able to draw the schematic of electric transmission system okay students hope uh, uh, you have understood this particular topic thank you